Hey guys, what's going on? Chase here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to assemble a skateboard. What you're going to need is some pair of trucks, some bearings, a skate tool, which is easier than like other tools from Toolbox, some wheels, any hardware, some grip tape, a razor blade or a box cutter, and then a skateboard deck. Alright, I like to start off with my skateboard deck. So let me get over here. Alright, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut off the plastic. And make sure that you're being very careful with your razor blade because or box cutter because it's very sharp and if you cut yourself it's gonna run really deep and it's gonna be really bad cut. So just throw this over there. Alright, I have an almost 8 inch skateboard deck. I never tried these, but I've always wanted to. All right, this is probably really hard. Just, I'm still trying to get it down, but putting on grip tape. So, what you're gonna do is rip off the back. I only rip off a little bit at first. It's very sticky. I don't know if it's all. Okay, so what you're gonna do? So you're gonna start off with your grip tape. And I choose my fingers to help guide where it's going to go. And I make sure that you want to make sure that you don't put like it in the middle and then have air bubbles. That's the key goal of grip tape is to make sure that there's no, absolutely no air bubbles. And so I place it on one side first. And I very slowly make sure there's no air bubbles. Place it down. You want to kind of pat out all the air, and if there is air bubbles, there's a good way to get them out. So just place it down very carefully, making sure there's no air bubbles. Because if there is air bubbles, it kind of causes it. So when you cut the grip tape, it can come up. So just, I use the paper backing, and I just kind of use it to help smoothen out the air bubbles. See, I have no air bubbles. And so what you're going to do is you take your skate tool, or you can use a file also, and you're just going to want to mark the outside of the grip tape to uh, show up for when you cut it, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. One second. You don't want to mark it too much, but you just want to get it enough so that you can see the white line that you can see. Just gonna go around. You really want to get the corners really good. And so you just want to go all the way around. And if you say you were to scratch the middle, and if it's not a deep scratch, it's just going to come right out once you start riding it anyway. So I'm just going to fast forward so you don't have to. Okay, so now that your grip tape is all marked, you see here I kind of scratched it, but that doesn't really matter. Now that it's all marked, you can take your razor blade or box cutter, and this is probably a really hard part. So that helps it is to kind of just lift up your grip tape. It makes it look easier to cut. Just lift it up, fold it over, and this makes it for a smoother, cleaner cut. And I'm still trying to get the hang of it, but I kind of cut the corners right here, and it just helps to make it for an even easier, so you don't have to have it all in one giant piece. So just make sure to be very careful. Just this last corner. Okay, so you're going to find one of your marks. And you're gonna find it and place your razor blade on it, and you're gonna slowly cut up, like in towards you. And you're gonna very slowly cut on the white line that you made with your file or your skate tool, and you just make a nice straight line. 
and the corners are a lot harder to cut, but you just gotta stick stick with it. Okay, so when you're done, I did an okay job on the corners. I did pretty bad, but when I'm done doing my grip tape, what I normally do is I take the excess sheets and I fold them over so they're not sticky. And I just rub down the side. It just makes it so that it doesn't uh, come apart as fast. And it makes it so your grip tape lasts longer and it, it doesn't peel up. And I usually have to use a couple of these excess sheets so it can really get it really good. And you're just going to go all the way down so that it's all white. And, but that, that's going to come out. It's not going to be too much of a deal. Okay, next thing that I do is I take my box cutter. And no, actually, instead, I use... Okay, so the next thing I do is you take your piece of hardware. And I kind of just poke it up a little bit. And that's what I use. You poke it up. And you just mark it. like so, and you just do that for all four sides, and it makes it easier for your hardware to go in. Okay, now that you have your holes poked, you can just kind of go on the bottom and push through, or you can go on top, I like to go on top, but I was just going to show you that you could go under, and get this out. So what you're going to do is you're gonna push through the hole with your hardware just push through it's, kind of, it's a little hard just muscle through it's not gonna ruin it you just gotta find the hole and push it in awesome time area and yeah so just keep doing that so the bolts is what holds your uh your trucks together. This hole's bigger. So you can just push them down. And hardware doesn't really matter what company you get. Like, I prefer diamond, but CCS didn't have them at the time. So this is just the only Allen Ranch hardware I could, uh, I could find. So, and if you get make a big enough hole with your uh, Allen or box cutter or uh, or your razor blade, there we go. You can just um, poke it on through the bottom. It doesn't really matter. Okay, now that you have all your bolts in, now we're going to put our trucks on. Um, I ride 8 inch Thunders, which I think are the best trucks to have because they're super light and they last me forever. So you're gonna have so this is called the kingpin. And so you're gonna have the kingpin on the inside of your truck like this. You don't wanna have it like this because when you turn right it's gonna want to go left. So you're gonna want to have it with this flat part on the outside and the kingpin on the inside. And you just line up the holes making sure that they're all through. And now you're gonna take the bolts from your um, the hardware that you got, and you're just gonna for now screw them on with your hands, and then later is when you're gonna go in and use your uh, skate tool and an Allen key with Allen hardware or a screwdriver with other kind of hardware. Okay, now that you now that you have your screws is barely on. I have a different type of skate tool, but normally it's gonna be like a T, and you're gonna have the part for the smaller hardware. It's going to be sticking out, but I have a different one. So you put the smallest, like, one of these whole things. And, let me show you from a better angle. You're just going to put it on around with your Allen key. You kind of just put it on, and you just tighten it. And you want to tighten your bolts until they're flush and even with the grip tape. So when you are scraping your foot up along the grip tape, 
it's not going to get caught like it is right now. You want to have it so it's pretty much flat and even like it is right now. But you don't want to go too deep because that's how if you go too deep into the wood and start cutting into the actual wood, that's when you start to uh can that's when cracks can occur. And cracks it just doesn't have the full like your board doesn't it can't get to its full potential. When it cracks and it just can snap, so you have to get a new board. So just make sure you don't go too deep, but you go in enough so that it's flush with the grip tape. And you just you do that for all, all your bolts. Okay, now that you have your bolts on in your trucks, when your bolts are flush with the board, not too hot so your foot gets caught, now we're going to put on our bearings and wheels. I ride uh, Bone 52mm wheels. Bone's like the best. And I ride Red Bone Super Red. So you're just going to open up your bones. And every, uh, both of them, bones and reds, each pack comes with uh, a sticker. Like, see, here's the bone sticker. And I'll show you in a minute what the red zone looks like. But I think it's just pretty cool how every pack comes with uh, some stickers because it's never bad to have stickers. So you're just going to take off the plastic and open up your reds and there are your reds and then the sticker is right there. Boom. Okay, so how to put on your wheels is that you're going to take off the bolt on the truck by turning to the left, take off one of the two washers, and make sure you don't lose them, and you're take out two, um, take out two bearings. Some people clean out their bearings, I don't really clean out my bearings. So what you do is you put one bearing on upside down, and take your wheel, and you're just gonna push down until it's in there really good. Just make, sometimes you can hear a snap, like it snaps in, but I didn't this time, but th there we go, her snap. And so you can put them outside, but I run my wheels inside out. I think it just looks a lot cooler. So then you're going to put on your washer and then tighten down your trucks. Where's my tool? There it is. And you're just going to tighten down, tighten the bolt enough so that um, you don't want to have your kingpin like the axle, not the kingpin, the axle not stick out because if like say your board do a kickflip and it slid out, it's going to scrape it. It's going to make it too a lot harder for your bolts to come on to your truck, screw on, and it's going to strip them and it's going to make it very difficult. So just have them just enough. And I like to have mine with a lot of room, but a lot of, I know people that ride them so like it like barely moves, which makes it faster or something. I mean, I don't really see a difference. And so you're just going to repeat the process for all four of your sides of your truck, all four sides of your truck. Okay, now that your skateboard's all put together, okay, you kind of just make sure that all your stuff's tightened enough. And your trucks, every person rides their trucks differently. I like mine loose but not super loose but still tight enough so that I can still ride without having to like turn every time I just move my feet a little bit so you can just loosen or tighten your trucks however you want and then yeah so now that your skateboard's put together you can put on any of your stickers if you want to I like my boards just plain and just go ride and have fun so thanks for watching and if you want to see more how to's or reviews on cameras and skate stuff, just subscribe.